Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Now, in case you're not aware, June is the anniversary month of tragic events that took place in China in 1989. In Beijing, groups of students took to Tiananmen Square to protest their government and demand democratic reform. The protest eventually turned violent and the military ended up killing unarmed citizens. The Chinese government said 200 civilians died and a few dozen security personnel, but the BBC claims the total number of deaths were 10,000. One ray of hope during this tragedy was photo and video footage of one single man standing up to a fleet of military tanks by himself. He not only managed to make the tanks come to a complete stop, but he climbed up on top of one of them and demanded that they turn back around. Seeing this kind of bravery will give any underdog freedom fighter the hope that they need to keep on pushing through and fighting for their cause, especially if their end goal is democracy. So naturally, a communist country like China would want to suppress an image like this. And that's exactly what they did. If you search for Tianmen Square Tank Man on a Chinese search engine, you won't find it. China has also told American search engines that they too need to prevent this image from being searched in China if they want to continue doing business in China. Other American companies, like Google, don't want to comply with that, so their services are either not allowed or are heavily limited in China. But Microsoft? They're willing to play ball. They implemented restrictions on their Chinese version of Bing that would prevent people from searching for the Tianmen Square Tank Man pictures. But when they applied these policies, they must have accidentally hit the send all button, because these restrictions weren't just applied to China, they ended up being applied to other parts of the world too. So on Friday, June 5th, if you were a US resident trying to find all the details of the Tianmen Square Massacre via Bing, specifically the Tank Man standoff, you unfortunately wouldn't have been able to. I believe the situation is fully corrected now and Microsoft blamed the issue on human error, but didn't elaborate on what exactly caused the problem. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. Do you think internet censorship in democratic countries will ever become as strict as it is in communist countries? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.